If it ain't hood, it ain't good. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for liking and subscribing, baby. Welcome to the Hood Podcast. Back at it again with another episode of Hood Review. Reviewing Westworld. Spoiler alerts as always. Joined as always, I got the homie Chris. How are you, Chris? I'm still living today. Woo! Continuing the train. This is two positive days in a row. <laughs> also, we're not hosts. How would you know? Um. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? I hate to rain on your parade. <laughs> but there's just no way of knowing. Jay taking up the mantle of my bad. Bloomer on here. <laughs> <laughs> the start the whole game. <laughs> so we have Westworld. Season 4, episode 8, which is the finale. I had a sneaking suspicion that um, this could possibly be it as far as the series finale. But nothing has been confirmed or denied yet. So that always makes it weird. Well, with the way they left it, that was kind of like... That's it. Yeah. (laughs) Like, I I was hoping for something more spectacular. I guess. Um, you know what? For a bunch of hosts, you would think so. Um, right. Because the opportunities are limitless. Like you have these huge mech warrior giant things that you didn't really utilize. <laughs> right. <laughs> and flying like hovercraft, like murder yeah, weapons, was- basically. Yeah, there were the battle drones, and I'm sure they would have had something in the sea somehow. Also, what about the things that the the Charlotte Hale host party were uploading into? Right. Where what? did those go? <laughs> <laughs> Just randomly dipped out, I guess. Right. <laughs> um, The name of this episode was, oh my God. I think it was called like Kesara or something. Oh yeah, it was because they sang a song and I was kind of cringing a little bit. Why is it? Because I don't know. I just felt like you you just met him again. <laughs> I didn't really connect with it. It was personal. It's a personal thing. I just did not connect with it, and I was like, eh. That's a good point. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Because it was kind of, like, awkward a little bit. Yeah, because she had just found him again. Yeah. So it's, like, less than a day they're back together. And <laughs> let's sing a bye-bye song. <laughs> Goodbye forever. <laughs> so that yeah. was um a little weird, but I guess... I could come. Okay, I look past it, but don't don't get any weirder though. <laughs> kind of the follow up to the penultimate episode where we had William and fucking host William, right? Yeah. <laughs> it just go out and just basically be like, "Hey, you know what? I'm done with this season, man. Let's see everybody <laughs> everybody kill each other." <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. When, when all that happened, I was all like, why should I care about the next episode? Because Ben Arnold is gone. I, the only reason I care to a certain extent, because at this point, they've made it pretty clear that humans are no longer like the focal point of this, of this story. Yeah, that's what true. What I was kind of wanting to see like is are, how far are they going to take it? And obviously, they took it all the way. I was just like, uh, can we have like some badass random human come out and save the day? I was going to say, did they really take it that far? Because they were kind of just doing the same thing the humans were doing with the host, except the humans are in the host spot now. True. And so last season, there was way more fighting, way more battles. And True. this season, it's like, Oh, we will shoot at each other from a distance, and there will be some. <laughs> there will be some lightly sprinkled street fighting every once in a while, yeah. and then 
couple showdowns though. I mean, we yeah, had but a they few... weren't like they weren't the big spectacular kind of showdowns like you True. saw in the last season where everybody was just going balls to the wall. But yeah. I did like that. Um, Clementine went off the rails on the last episode. That was I've been was waiting for her to snap too. Cause <laughs> right. <it's> like... <laughs> She been a little too low key like this whole time. <laughs> yeah, it was fun to see her be like, "Yeah, okay, I'm going Terminator mode now." Yeah, I'm with the savageness too. Everybody else acting the savage. Why can't I? <laughs> right. Um, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I really enjoyed kind of the b- breakdown of Hell and Will or William because. Mm-hmm. At first, they were kind of, you know, a team, you know, team hell, right? Team yeah. host, what have you, whatever you want to call it. But eventually, they kind of like, William kind of had a heart to heart with himself. And <laughs> let me just say, any scene with William, from the very beginning of this series, he steals it. Like, he, he debos it. Like, he commands it. All right? And so to have this scene where it's him versus him going into this episode Mm -hmm. was the only reason I can see why he went to zero to ten so quickly. (laughs) Where he's just like, you know what? You're right. I am a savage. (laughs) I also like the fact that when he, when host William killed real William. Yeah. Like, real William was kind of smiling, like, hey, I still got it. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, there was that, like, and there was kind of like, that'll do, Pete, <laughs> that'll do. Right, he, he was like, yeah, I'm the pee in everybody's Kool-Aid, no matter where yeah, I am. Yeah, he's like, I still get to be a savage. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that that part was fun. Yeah, and I have to say, shout out to the May versus Hell fight. Mm-hmm. Of course it wasn't long enough. That's how, that's wow. usually how you get uh, towards the end of seasons where you kind of like trying to cram everything in. Right. But it was still there, and I shout them out for it. Um. Shout out to Stubbs. Clementine had to get them oh on up out of there. So, I rock okay. with I rock with Stubbs. That's one of the him worst him worst brothers, right? <laughs> <I> was, <laughs> that's my my secret third him worst. Him oh. worst brother. But so. He's another one of the hosts that kind of rolls in and he just steals the scenes. Yeah. Like, you're supposed to be focusing on Caleb and his daughter. And I love so Stubbs. Like I, it's like, I don't care. Where, where's Stubbs? What is Stubbs doing? I was kind of salty that he uh, kind of went out the way he did. Yeah. But it kind of is what it is. At least mm-hmm. they kind of let us know, like, Stubbs ain't going to make it. Yeah. It kind of they kind of foreshadowed all the characters that we did. Like it was like they're not gonna make it. <laughs> Just don't get your hopes up. Okay, but but did they really not make it? Because in one of those iterations where um, Maeve and Bernard were going into that um, Hoover Dam, yeah, Herber farm thing, yeah. she said, "We're in there, aren't we?" And she was looking at the the thing where the Sublime was. Oh yeah, was that so? In one iteration, did they make it in there? Like, we'll see, because, you know, they kind of kept it kind of semi-open-ended either way. Yeah. It was like, well, we'll see if this Hemsworth, is this Hemsworth brother blow up and end up in Marvel movies? Like, <laughs> we can make, <laughs> oh, we killed him off. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Dang, I just, I was thinking of who he could play the other day, too. Dang it. And I already forgot. You know, yeah. good and well, he's going to be an Asgardian. Oh, that would be sweet. Yeah, make him an Asgardian. You already know. He got to be along his, with his other brother. Yeah, that's true. And then there's the third Hemsworth. No, fourth <laughs> Hemsworth brother who's... I can't even, I can't even remember. But yeah, Stubbs is like... the Isn't Stubbs... Stubbs <laughs> isn't he like the shortest Hemsworth brother? I don't think he actually is a Hemsworth brother, but we talked about this a while back because I thought he was for a hot second. And then you guys looked it up and was like, nah, but in my, in my fanfic, he totally is. I really thought he was, man. I thought he was too. He would be the shortest if he was though. Luke Hemsworth. What? He is? Wait a minute. 
<laughs> he the shortest about? one. I know. <laughs> I knew it. Uh, Marvel, go pick him up, please. Yeah, Let's so yeah, they now you see why he would definitely have to be an S Guardian. He'll be <laughs> Thor's shorter brother. Um, RIP Maeve. I don't like how she went down. I I know well, you know I shouldn't don't say that. like how anybody went out. Well, okay, no, I shouldn't say that. I, I don't like how she went down, but I kinda do. I just don't like the setting it happened in. Because I could see Will William yeah. being the one that offs her because he's the only other one on her level really yeah. uh but after her fighting with hell he's just all like out of nowhere pop yeah. i was like hmm yeah well okay i mean that is some that is some william level stuff yeah. going on but i was all like huh. he does like blow people head off like off screen <laughs> and then they just yeah. pan in and see him like yeah you already know who it was <laughs> He did at the beginning of this episode. It was like mm -hmm. <laughs> they were basically playing real life Fortnite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the sniper, of course, is shooting like busting, right? He's really he's like taking everybody out. And Will William comes in right at the end. Like you think the sniper's gonna get away. Gets <laughs> his ass got and goes, You yep. fucking camper. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. I was like, what? He just did I all this. I almost fell out of my seat when he said that shit, bro. <laughs> he is really funny. playing a video game. Like, mm -hmm. this is his. Because you think about it before the maze or whatever. Mm -hmm. That's what he was doing in, like, the West World, like, original setting, right? <laughs> just yep. going around blowing the host head off looking for the maze. And uh, now the only difference is he sprinkled a couple humans into it now. So this William or the host William in contrast to actual William mm -hmm. was actually becoming attached to the humans rather than human William became absolutely detached from every human he knew. Like yeah. his, even his own family yes. was all like, I, I don't care about y'all. I just want to go to Westworld and, and pop some skulls and find a maze. So I felt like he was kind of holding back his attachment with humans like mm. when he was when they were looking for outliers right that was another yeah. thing that was added uh, this season was uh, basically humans maybe you can explain this better than me like so <laughs> with the the thing with the flies taking over your yeah. neural pathways or whatever it was doing for some people it didn't work Don't which work, would right? yeah would, and that makes total sense and then hale figured out that you have to get them when they're kids which also makes sense because the older you are the more solidified your brain pathways are going to be right so it might work for a minute which it did but eventually they would reject it yep. and i could also see in kids them having like just being wired differently because neuroatypical people exist and so that would not work for them either even as kids hmm. so then these people became outliers they were unable to be controlled by the the buzzing noise that was all over the hail cities right and and that's what the outliers were and did the outliers really do anything now that i think about it they did it which annoyed me because <laughs> <laughs> this is why i was all like where's the big big conflict at cause... yeah i was I, I was thinking the outliers was gonna come out of nowhere like a uh, game of thrones style like oh there's an army of outliers right but... like there would have been there should have been way more of them than there were we just kept seeing a sprinkling here and there and the largest group we saw it. is when they were picking up that lady that last woman they picked up out of the city yeah and that was it so I mean, shout out to Bernard, R.P. Bernard. Leave my Bernard alone. <laughs> another, another Westworld <laughs> cast member who is definitely going to go. Well, I won't say definitely, but it's probably going to be in the Marvel universe because he's already in What If, right? Mm -hmm. So they they oh, just like, all right, we got to kill. <laughs> These schedules kind of going on and on. We got to start killing some folks. <laughs> He might be switching over to DC too, though, because he's Commissioner Gordon and yeah. the, the emo Batman, which was but really good. 
that's both WB. So uh, yeah. I don't know if they was really like pressing them like that. Disney, <laughs> I can completely understand. Like, all right, man. Disney said we got to get you on up out of here. Oh, that's right, because WB is restructuring right now, aren't they? Yeah, and they canceling the hell out of movies, so I doubt <laughs> 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 yeah, they canceled Bat Batgirl. Well, okay, but the Batwoman the, um, Supergirl. The last Batman that was out, that wasn't in connection with the Wonder Woman kind of right. um Aquaman thing, right? Because that right. would that made more money. Or did Easily. it make more money than those movies? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he might be going over there, I guess. If they don't cancel the movie. Ah. <laughs> and then you got Ben Affleck. He's living his best life with J-Lo. I don't think he recorded right now. <laughs> he just had his 50th birthday. He out here cooling. He's getting that 90s nostalgia on. Yeah, he enjoying Literally. the time that he got with J-Lo. Like, the second time <laughs> around, man, you got to take it. Look, man. <laughs> <laughs> You got to embrace it and cherish it. Mm -hmm. So, I'm pretty sure Disney's like, all right, we need Hemsworth, we need Bernard, and uh, we'll, we'll come back for some more. We don't know who. who. We just start <laughs> killing other main characters off. Because <laughs> this Westworld is, is going on long enough. Like, it is far, the lore is far deeper than the actual movie could ever even dream of. Yeah. Um, more convoluted too. Some would say. I was gonna say I'm I'm kind of tired of Dolores's character. <laughs> like, can if they do another season, can we just not though? Why is that? She just, it's because she's kind of getting her Mary Sue on, or? Well, not just that, but she doesn't really do anything, but still wins in the end. Like she yeah. had way more action last season than she ever had. Like across all the seasons even when she was wired True. at one point but she doesn't yeah it's kind of mary sueish her character just shows up and is protected by one force or another <laughs> is saved by one <laughs> force or another and is all like oh i'll just wake up and go do the thing that needs to get done now and that's kind of tired yeah yeah that's kind of her mo <laughs> is i'm gonna mm -hmm. wake up overpowered as shit yep <laughs> and in the season <laughs> season Happen. one yep. season two season three season four <laughs> damn it chris <laughs> it's a it's a pattern the maze has a pattern unfortunately <laughs> and apparently season five too if they have a season five they set oh it my up. gosh <laughs> well just... okay the one way I could see them doing this better next time around is get yeah. a different actress, maybe a younger actress, to play Dolores this time around mm -hmm. and have it be like a a copy of a copy of a copy type deal where hmm. that new Dolores is all like, I got to figure out what this overpowered Dolores bullcrap is about because now the world's like in complete shambles and she started it. <laughs> And then you could have yeah. that head to head that way because then you'd have a Dolores that actually has to struggle for something, and right. you could get that added effect of Dolores versus Dolores instead of, you know, some other crap where she just wakes up and's all like, "Oh, I'll just push a button now and right off into the sunset." Okay, so when you had Bernard saying, "Oh, you know, there's no hope for this world, but we can, you know, give hope for the next one," right? Mm -hmm. And they have to also say, like, all sentient life is, is done for on, you know, on Earth. What next? <laughs> okay, so you do have the sublime that survived. You also have right, those. Right, Digital um, Heaven, shout out. Um, the hosts that were ascend was it ascending? Is that what she called it? Yeah. Kale? Yeah, so you also have yeah. those hosts who were ascending to wherever the heck that I thought they going was going to, to the sublime. No, the Sublime was locked until um, Bernard opened it up. Okay, right. The, and so she had season. she was having them ascend. I thought she was ascending them into those new right into those weird bodies. Yeah, because some of them some of them moved around a little bit. Like you don't really actually know what this stuff does anymore. We didn't it's see. Just well, we didn't see them. 
like anymore. Like we didn't we like after they blew up that place basically. Right. What happens? And then they say there's no all sentient life. I'm assuming that includes hosts. But did they did the ascended or whatever, did they just not come to fruition? Well, they ascended somewhere, so they've got to be stored somewhere. Who knows where that where is. But for the next season, another thing they could do is have those ascended ones come flying back like, hey, we want to see what's going on down here. And then Dolores will be being I think they have a hurt. choice. I think they have to go to the ascended. Take this ascended. It's going to be the ascended because there's only a handful of them. The mm-hmm. outliers. There's only a handful of them. Mm-hmm. And then Dolores and the sublime world, right? Well, yeah, this, I don't think the host will want to come out of the sublime, though, because that um, one guy who played the Native American yeah. one, he was all like, we, we chilling out in here. We, yeah, it, it was we kind of a come. player, though. <laughs> Native American <laughs> dude, he had his, when he had his Native American, like, garb on, like, in the first couple of seasons, and now he's just decked out in the three-piece. <laughs> I like it. He's all swagged out. He, he was looks cool great, too. in the penthouse. He's like, you better not go back, but no, you tweaking. <laughs> I also like how he was like not that um typical um Native American like spiritual magical being. He was just yeah. all like, Hey, I could show you what's about to go down and then you can figure it out for yourself. Exactly. <laughs> so that was that was a nice touch because that host in the storyline had been through enough. Yeah. Especially from his, his one episode. That focused on him. That was a crazy episode. Yes, but I liked how they were like, oh, he's happy now. He's doing his thing. He'll help you out a little bit, but he's not here to like handhold you or <laughs> right. tell you, you how to figure win. it out yourself, bro. Right. Good point. Um, I like the hell scene where she just starts stumping the shit out of the little virtual city. <laughs> <laughs> like a tantrum she's like eh, eh. i like I what they place. okay so hell had to grow on me right um mm-hmm. how can you make a big bad kind of killmonger s likable and that's when you put a pit him against somebody who's just as ruthless as william but i like mm-hmm. william too though um, i think I, I like william better can't nobody yeah. advance a plot better than william Right. And they tried to do it with with hell, but it was like for not. We know shit's not going down without William, right? Well, and cu- that's how it ultimately put, happened. They kind of put Hale in the position of just another story maker, like just another CEO of Westworld, right. and she was running between. I want my host to have freedom and my host need to go this dang ascension place with me. And if they don't go to the ascension place, I'm going to have a, I'm going to throw a fit. I'm going to yeah. shut down the city. Like it was that her switching back and forth between those two things was really weird. Doing it's all like lady. dirty as shit too. Yeah. It's like lady, could you get over your revenge fantasy and <laughs> go live life? I did love up. how like the ass kicking took place in Times Square. Like when everybody was like <laughs> killing each other. Yeah. And I watched, I don't know if you saw the after, the little, you know, the little thing they do after every episode Mm -hmm. where they built the whole ass virtual Times Square. Like, it was like, there's no way we finna shoot this at Times Square. Like, there's 0% chance we gonna clear that thing out. (laughs) But they made it look pretty believable, man. Mm -hmm. Shout out to that. Well, all you um, need is a bunch of pictures and some green screens anymore. Yeah. Yeah, well, it kind of was, though. But it was like a a green screen slash LCD screen, like, dome they put over them. Like, it, it <laughs> I've never seen anything like that in any filmmaking uh, documentaries I've seen. Yeah, which, that's true. So, shout out to the, like, that. was some new-ass Westworld. They was like, we built this just for Westworld. So that was pretty cool. So I'm, I'm uh okay with talking about the Dolores and Teddy kind of romance they had, where they rekindled and talked about how Dolores created this world, and that's yeah, cool. Well, 
she was she was basically just a background program running a map. Yeah, now, that was nothing. kind of confusing. Like, but she could see the actual cities that were out there. It yeah. seems like that was her whole function. But I I kind of thought they didn't utilize Teddy in a way that they really could have. Here. Yeah, they did him dirty yet again. Because <laughs> he just shows up again and is all like, oh, Dolores, I love you, though. <laughs> and it was and, so much intrigue when he first showed up, right? Right. I thought he was going to be doing a whole lot more because he showed up and he got that dude away from her. He showed up again. Or no, he showed up after she went back into the house and was like, oh, this dude's like, is he protecting her? Is he switched over and gonna be a bad guy this season like you didn't know at first not at all and then and then he um offs that one guy that was harassing her and just disappears yeah peace out and it's like oh okay what's teddy gonna be doing this season and it's like no he Nothing. just shows up to be like oh Dolores, <laughs> you're so special and great <laughs> I'm, going to digi- I'm going to digitally disappear right <laughs> i'm here to tell dolores to put on her old west world outfit and peace out <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I got. I don't know if you want to speak more to that part, but it was kind of like a it turned out to be a whole lot of nothing, really. Yeah. I am more interested in predictions because like you say, there's only you obviously have to I'm not gonna say obviously, but there's a a good chance that you have to follow the path of the or to follow the lives of the outliers right because they say oh they only have so long to live but i don't see them skipping another 30 40 years and then they're out of there too like oh we just skipped ahead just to kill them like the rest of the humans well it's possible with the outliers what they could do is maybe that's not the only pocket of outliers and there were outliers in other spaces out. on the earth and maybe they'll end up coming together at some point and making further generations that could then come back in between the war between the whatever the ascendant hosts that's, are that's and, what i'm hoping because if without them there's no more humans it's just all <laughs> you could have a whole digital season right and then there if you take the human element out of it, it there's also nothing at stake because the host can't really it's just a computer. They, yeah, they can't really die. They've got backups somewhere. So even if you have to start from a reset, like a version way back, you yeah. still have that host somewhere. There's still a Dolores out there somewhere. Still and a maze, even if it's still no humans, banana. then guess what? If it's no humans and it's just um, and it's just host, mm-hmm. then you just have uh, okay. Let's just all store ourselves to for longevity, basically. Right. Time doesn't really matter, right? <laughs> so it's just like, what if they just went in sleep mode and just preserved well, all the power that the Earth has to offer? It's just like, well, I don't want to watch that. <laughs> well, they wouldn't even really have to sleep. They could be running on some energy efficient program just in digital space somewhere doing stuff. True. Which is what it seemed like this season was ending on because Dolores but went At the and same created- time, life on Earth is finite right like mm-hmm. if it's just host and there's no humans on earth then i guess longevity of earth is the is the host like number one priority then there's no mm-hmm. more conflict nope they might fuck they might be like fuck it let's look we calculate the earth is going to end in 100 years let's let's peace out let's go somewhere else and <laughs> set up the computer there Oh, so, okay. One of my favorite sci-fi series is um, the Void series. Frank Herbert and some other guy wrote it. Okay. His name I always forget. Sorry to that dude. Anyhow, so this story involves kind of this situation a little bit. So this crew is trying to figure out AI, like living AI. And they're doing it with these fetus brains and these fetus brains are connected to the ship. Okay. Well, at the end of the book, end of the first book, anyhow, they accidentally figure it out after some of the crew dies. And when this ship wakes up, it tells them to worship it. And you just, 
poofs somewhere out to space. <laughs> oh my god. So the host could totally end up doing something like that where they end up, you know, in other spaces out in space where maybe some other kind of sentient life happened. Hmm. And since they have a adversarial position with what they would call sentient life, they could be like, oh, we finished off the humans and conquered them. This one's next. <laughs> but that might be too far out of the range of what well, these writers are doing. Not Okay, for Westworld, I would say any other show, yeah, but for Westworld, I could see it. However, the only reason I don't know about that is because season five hasn't even been greenlit yet, right? Yeah, that's true. That's so probably I why they left it I don't see them going to, going to HBO and be like, all right, so I'll picture this. <laughs> Aliens. <laughs> and we, it's like, okay, we can, <laughs> we, we can just make another show. We can just make another show, Westworld. Get out of our face. <laughs> Alien versus host versus oh, predator. No, no. Okay. So another thought. In the series of the Westworld movies and all that, mm -hmm. there's, there is a future world, I believe. Yeah. So they could do a future world style thing in the next season, and that would fit within the, the canon of the whole Westworld series universe of things. That, that's interesting. Future world. It's not going to be Shogun world or whatever, or Westworld or whatever the 1920s world was. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the name of that one. Yeah, what was that? I think he just had a prohibition world. <laughs> <laughs> prohibition world. <laughs> yeah, so I think I would only be interested in future world, <sighs> but I feel like it's gonna be West World because Dolores is gonna have to be that bridge. I I don't want a bridge season to Future World, but I'm sorry to say that might happen. Yeah. But why 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 do we care about okay, Dolores is fully remembered, right? Mm hmm Why do we care about whatever she's about to go do in Westworld? Like, don't she got the cheat codes now? Because they always lead with her being the beginning and end of the thing. But at this point she's yeah. so overpowered that you just can't connect with it anymore. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, she's got she can't nothing forget to struggle. In season five again, like, oh, I got amnesia again. I don't know who I am. Again. Right. <laughs> and that would be stupid because you keep doing this. Stop doing this. Yeah. Which makes me believe your argument uh, or not argument, but your prediction of future world. Because that's a new territory we could tap into. Right. Yeah, because then you'd have um, whatever Dolores hosts end up building on yeah. Earth going out into outer space against the ascended hosts that were wherever they went to. So Dolores hosts versus ascended hosts versus outliers. That would be my... That's what they need to do. I can get with it. They finna hire you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He was like, you know what? We were going to go to uh, Alien Invasion, but we like your idea better. <laughs> so let's rate season. I don't Do you want to rate the episode or just the season? I think it'll be easier to do the season, right? Uh, let's just do the season because the last episode was kind of flat for me. Yeah. And a mini continuation. Mm -hmm. So overall, I'd give this season a seven. A solid seven. Like it was trying to do a new thing, didn't quite hit mm -hmm. the marks. They didn't utilize the the hosts in the best way. They didn't have the yeah. best action. It just was telling a story, which is okay, but I was expecting more. I think I'm there with a seven. Um, the acting, the the um the quality of the cgi mm -hmm. the shooting the shots like the beautiful like how they like recreated like the entire city of new york to just make it straight up host walking around like that's movie level shit so mm -hmm. that could have all gotten an eight if they stuck the landing with the writing like you said 
or even just had a little bit more like chewable action or even a it. nine if i you you can get an eight out, out of me from the you know if they had paid more attention to detail gave them the hosts mm-hmm. and the humans a little bit more to do other than Maeve, Hale, William, Bernard, Dub, <laughs> done. But I will say, all of this, all of these supposed weapons that Hale had just chilling up there, ready to go. These mech warriors, these flying. You know she had it. Like, oh yeah, she right. in full control. But Hale was the type to have these ready to go, just in case some shit pop off. Mm-hmm. And. You even teased them. Like, <laughs> y'all walking past them and shit. And the mech little, little Gundams, basically, are yep. like looking at you and be like, uh, I guess we cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you, and, and then you tease it in Bernard's little, um, I guess, uh, one of his scenarios of his infinite scenarios that he, that he ran. Mm-hmm. And you just got them busting into the dam. I'm like, oh shit, it's going down. When Maeve was standing oh, yeah. there, but he mentioned that the that was one of the most stressful ways he died was yeah that water coming in and crushing them to death. Yeah, and it was not to be because these are like a bunch of scenarios. If we all gonna get to the same spot, mm-hmm. I would have liked to see some more of those scenarios. They was looking right. there highly was way more action. Yeah, but reality is often disappointing. So, seven out of ten. <laughs> it could have been worse, I guess. Um, the series as a whole is still hanging on at a nine. Um, yeah. it, and I'm just rating the series just in case the this was it. But I don't <laughs> see how this can be it though. Cause... Well, they left it open ended enough so that if it doesn't ever come back, that yeah. It's like, okay, it sort of did a thing. Yeah. You have that, but also you could do more if you wanted to. True. All right. And that's it. That's what we got for Westworld season four. Anything else you want to add? Um, stop rebooting Dolores. <laughs> Just, we, 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 sing, we heard this song before. Stop, do a different song. Stop rebooting, period, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. I think at this point, <laughs> Dolores is the epitome of it. But uh, we look forward to another. If we are so lucky, we look forward to another Westworld episode uh, season. So I wouldn't say no to it. I still watch it. Same here. Plus, they with the way they ended the season, they've got space to go into outer <laughs> space. So go into outer they space. They did Game space. of Thrones me where I was just like, you know what? I don't want to watch another season. <laughs> so. <laughs> I, d- Speaking you, of, you gonna watch <laughs> House of the Dragon? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna watch it. No, I mean like <laughs> if it was the Game of Thrones season nine that they came out with, I, I can't do it. Oh, yeah. All right, let's get out of here. Chris, thank you so much for joining. Thanks for having me. And don't forget, She Hulk is coming out in two days on Thursday. Please don't be ass. <laughs> Either way, we will be here to talk about it. And if we talked about Miss Marvel. <laughs> then we're gonna definitely talk about She Hope. Over under again, Chris says it's gonna be better than Miss Marvel. No, no, I said it'll be on the same level of Miss Marvel, par? just for an older audience. I, it'll be that level of, heh. And I'm gonna say a, oh. it's. And it, and I I don't want to be that guy, <laughs> but I see where this is going. This is going to be a whole ass sitcom, man. This is going to be worse than yeah. Miss Marvel. This is going to be wine aunt TV. <laughs> Hulk is going to be comedic relief every single time. Mm-hmm. You don't want your shirt ripping. <laughs> Got to buy spandex. <laughs> 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 I mean, if he has a bunch of puns, I I can get with that. But I know you can. Hulk. Let the Hulk be Hulk, dang it! Please, they do him dirty every day. Yeah. Let's get out of here. My name is Jay. Have a nice day.